everyone, hope you all can see me hopefully. I'm Abby and I'm going to be doing some yoga with you all today. So hopefully we've all got lots of space, we're not too squished. I'm outside but you can do this anywhere you want. I hope that we've all got space. We'll get started in a few minutes until when everyone's joining in. I can see people are getting started to join in now. Welcome. Okay. Make sure you've got something comfortable. You don't have to have a map. I'm on my map. And hopefully you can all see me. I'm going to talk loud because I'm in the garden and people are mowing their lawns and things like that. We'll wait a couple of minutes and then we'll get started. But just get yourself warm, have a little shake out, do some marches on the spot, whatever you think's best. I'm going to step back a bit and I'm going to talk nice and loud so you can all hear me. But hello, welcome. I might, you might recognise me, I might teach in some of your schools. Okay, hopefully you've done a bit of yoga before, but don't worry if not, it doesn't matter. We're all going to do it together. We're going to have lots and lots of fun. So we just, like I say, don't worry about a map. Just find your space. We're going to have some fun. If you've been working hard doing your schoolwork already at home this morning, this is something a bit different. Or even if you've done Joe Wicks at home, this is going to be a bit different, a bit slower. Some different postures, some different moves. So I hope you all enjoy it. So I'm going to step back on my mat and we'll get started with a bit of a stretch. So I just want your feet together, your arms by your side, roll your shoulders back and stand nice and tall. Take your head all the way over to one side for me. That's it, fantastic. And swap over to the other. And swap. And swap. Brilliant. Now we're going to take our head down and we're going to stick our chin all the way down. And take your head up. And take it down. And up. Once more, right the way down. And look up for me. And then we're just going to look all the way over to one side. So head over to one side. And swap. And swap. And swap. And just give your head a little wobble. Now we're going to take our shoulders back and we're going to do some big rolls. So we're going to use those shoulders, really big circles. Try and get them up to your ears and pushing them right the way back. Round and round. That's it. Keep going. And then bring them forward. So roll them forwards. So circle them forwards. That's it. Trying to get them right up to those ears. Brilliant. And go again, go backwards. That's it. And take them forwards. Now hopefully as you're doing all these nice yoga moves, your parents might take some pictures of you as well so I can see how well you're all getting on. So as we get into it and we start doing our moves. So now we're going to circle our elbows. So we're going to draw big circles. Imagine you've got pencils on them. Circle them right back. Keep going. Brilliant. And take them forwards. Good. Now we're going to do big circles with our arms. Be careful not to hit anything if you're in the living room. So big circles back. Stretch those arms. Straight arms are better. A little bend of our knees as we're going round and round. Okay, and take them forward. So big circles forward, right round. Keep going. Brilliant. And take your hands together. So you're going to link your hands together. So put them together. Oh, and reach up to the sky. Big stretch. Stretching out our tummies, our chest, our back. Reach right up, push up to the sky. And then just open them out. We're going to do that once more. So reach right up. And open them out. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take both hands forward. And a big push forward for me. Big stretch. And then take them right round to the back. And pull back. So squeeze those shoulders together. Big pull. Now next we're going to work our legs a bit and see how bendy we all are. So we've got our feet just a little bit apart. We're going to reach our arms up. Try not to bend your legs. Lean forward. Big stretch. So keep pulling. Try and get that back straight as you can. And then see if you can touch your toes without bending your knees. So keep those legs stretched. Don't worry if you can't do it. Just a little stretch is absolutely fine. But if you can, go right down to the floor. No bending knees though. So keep those legs stretched. And roll up. We're going to just do that once more. So reach right up. And go all the way down for me. Big stretch. Right down. Hold it for five. For four. 
three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna sit down on our mats or on the floor, wherever you are. Whether it be at home in the living room, outside the garden like me, stretch your legs in front of you. Now we want both legs together. Make sure they're stuck together and stuck to the floor. We're gonna reach up. Now our toes are pointing up to the sky and we're gonna see if we can reach to our toes. Now don't worry again if you can't. Don't mind how far you go, but just don't do this because that's cheating, okay? So leave those legs down and reach as far as you can. Now, some of you might be really bendy. You might do gymnastics or you might do something dancing or acro. So if you do, see if you can get your nose down to your knees. Head right down, nose right down. Whatever you can do is brilliant for me. So keep going and hold it. Hold that stretch. Four, five, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, then we're gonna put one foot on top of the other. So you're using your toes as a little balance. Reach up again. Now you can either link your fingers together, hold your hands or just reach them forward and touch your toe. Keep holding it. Hold it and try and not let those knees bend. Try and keep those legs stretched. We should feel a nice stretch going underneath our legs. And then we'll swap inside. So put the other side on top and reach forwards. Brilliant. Okay, now we're just going to do our butterfly stretch now. So we're going to stick our feet together and turn your knees there. Just give your legs a little wobble there. Hold that stretch. You can gently just a little push down. Nothing too hard, just a little one. Hold it there. Okay, just give those legs a little shake. Give your arms a little shake. And finally, onto your knees. We're going to do our child's pose now. So we've got our knees together. We're going to take our arms up. We put our arms down and we put our head down. Our bottom is down on our feet, so don't put your bum in the air. Keep it down and just hold that stretch. It's a nice, quiet stretch. Brilliant. Okay, and up you get for me. So, it should feel a bit warmer now, so I'm going to shake it off. Okay, just a few marches. Brilliant. Now, come to the top of your mat if you're on a mat like me. Don't worry if you're not, just come forward a little bit. Make sure you've got some room behind you for what we're gonna do next. So this is called a sun salutation. So first of all, I need you to take a big deep breath in through your nose and breathe out. Once more, we're gonna breathe in. I'm gonna take our arms up, so breathe in. Stretch up to the sky and breathe out. This time when we breathe out, we're gonna to touch our toes. So we breathe in, arms up and breathe out touch those toes reach forward let that head relax try and not bend those legs and then we crouch down on our mat now we're going to take one leg back right behind us so we take a big step step back we've got our other foot forward make sure your toe faces the front your knee faces the front don't turn it out to the side like this make sure it's down and put your hands flat now if you're a bit older or if you want to challenge yourself you're going to lift up the arm so whatever leg you've got forward lift that arm up reach up and look up to it. Hold that balance for me. Hold it. And pop it down. Then we're gonna go back into our downward dog. So we take both feet back, got our arms and legs stretched. Now our head's looking down, but it doesn't touch the floor. So hold that, push into your arms, pushing those heels down to the floor, holding our downward dog. Okay, and onto your knees. Now next, we're gonna go into two cat stretches, a happy cat and an angry cat. So a happy cat, smiley, so I'd love to see those smiley faces. Lean forward, strong arms, no bendy arms, so keep those arms stretched, keep those knees down. We've got our head up, and then we're pushing our tummy down. So if I turn to the side, we're pushing our tummy down for our happy cat, like this, and our head's up. Then we're gonna reverse it to our angry cat. So we push that tummy up, our head looks down, our knees are on the floor, and we're really pushing that back, arching that back for me, everyone. Brilliant, hold that. Okay, next we're gonna go into some snakes, okay? So into our cobra stretches. So we're gonna lie flat on our tummy with our hands near our shoulders, so just like this. So shoulders down. Now we keep our elbows on the floor and keep our feet down, okay? So keep those feet down, elbows down. Hold that. Now if you want to, you can have a little snake around like this, a little sliver, okay? Or you can take your head back one way and swap to the other side. Brilliant. Now we're gonna come down and push up into our cobra. So push right up for me. Try to keep those hips down. Try not let your shoulders lift. Relax them down. 
Feel that nice stretch in your back. Okay. We're going to come onto our knees and we're going to go into our mouse. So we've got our knees together. We're taking our arms up. We bring them down by our side. We tuck ourselves in so we're really small. So our head's down and our arms are down and we're holding that. This is a nice quiet stretch. So hold it still. Take a big stretch out in front of you. We're going to get up into our downward dogs again. So come onto your knees, lift your bottom in the air, head down, push those heels down to the floor. Okay, and then take a big step forward. So make sure you've swapped legs, so you've got the other leg forward. Keep that foot on the floor. Don't turn your knee out. Make sure it's facing the front. And if you want to, take that arm up. But if you don't want to, keep it on the floor. If you're a bit wobbly, that's fine. So keep those hands down, keep that foot down, or take it up, look right up at it. Place it back on the floor, bring your feet together. Take a big deep breath in, and breathe out. So hopefully we should feel nice and warm now, and a bit nice and stretched. So we're gonna go into some yoga moves now. So our first yoga move is the tree. So for our tree, what we need to do, we need our feet together. We need something that we can focus on. So look forward and focus. Don't look around, because that's where you're gonna get a bit wobbly. If you keep looking, it'll help you. So take those arms up now, arms together. We turn that foot out. Now you can see my knees facing out to the side, so make sure yours do, is doing that. Not like this, okay? So right out. We're gonna lift it up, and we place it on the bottom of our leg, okay? Not on our knee, because our knee's not quite strong enough, okay? Just on the bottom of our leg and we're focusing, trying to turn that knee out, trying to balance. Now if that's a bit tricky, open those arms out, hold that balance, that's absolutely fine, I don't mind. Try it, try not to wobble. If you do wobble, put it down, reset, and go again. Arms up, knee out, and lift it up. Hold it there, and we're trying to hold it. Bring that tummy in, sucking that tummy in and stretching up as much as you can will help you not wobble. Then we bring it down, we're gonna have a go on the other side. So we turn our foot out, as you can see, my knee's pushing out to the side again. My arms are up, I'm keeping it low, not on that knee, so just keep it low. And if you want to, take those arms out, so open those branches, so think we're a tree. Our branches have opened, and we're focused, so try and pull that tummy in, and hold it there. Now, if you find that a bit easy, and you wanna make it a bit trickier, we can do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our leg up high. Now you might need to use your hand to get that leg up. So look, we're going on our thigh now, but still turning it out. Still don't want it round here. So turn it out for me, take those arms up. Hold it there, okay? Really focus, breathe that tummy in, okay? Because if not, you're gonna get a bit wobbly. So pull up tall, imagine you've got a piece of string on your head. Pull it up and hold it. Take those arms out, hold it there. Can we hold it for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Try it on the other side for me this time. You will have one side that's better than the other. Now, if you want to keep it low, keep it low. If you're trying to push yourself, if you're finding that okay, take it up high. You can lift that leg up again. I don't mind. Arms up. Nice and tall for me. If you can hold it with your arms up, go for it. Push yourselves. Try not to wobble. But if you do wobble, it's okay. Bring it back up. Take those arms out. Have you got it? Is this your better leg? We'll hold it still. Very good and relax for me. So that's our tree pose, everyone. So you can practice that throughout the week. Okay, next we're going to do our boat. Now this next one is going to build all our muscles up in our tummies. So when you're writing or drawing, it's really good. It all links together and if we've got strong tummies, it will help with that, okay, with our writing and our drawing. So we're going to sit down. So what we do, we take our arms out. Now it's really important that your arms are straight. Don't bring your arms in like this, stretch them out. Now we're going to lift up our legs and if I just show you, my legs are straight. Just try not to bend those legs. Stretch them out, and if you look at your toes when you do this, it's gonna help you balance. Try not to go on your back though, so I don't want you all the way down here, you're balancing on your bottom. Now I'm gonna set as a challenge. Challenge number one, hold it still, no wobbling for five seconds. Are you ready? Arms out then, lift those legs up, go. 
four, five, four, three, two, one. Easy. Let's make it trickier. 10 second hold this time. So 10 seconds. Breathe, arms out. Are we ready? One leg out and the other. Lift them up, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. And if you found that easy, go longer. Can you hold it for 30 seconds? Can you hold it for a minute? That's my challenge for you, okay? You can try all that at home. Now, so we've done our tree, we've done our uh, boat. So next we're gonna do the butterfly. So we started this stretch earlier. So we stick our feet together. We've got our knees out. Now, if you just hold on to your feet and if your legs are wobble. Now, don't worry if your knees can't get quite down to the floor. If they're a little bit higher, that's fine. Just give them a little press. See how far down they can go. If you want to make it a little bit easier and get your legs down, just slide your legs forward just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And that'll help you with this stretch. Now, we're going to sit up tall, so nice, straight back, okay? We're going to see if we can lean forward a little bit. How close can we get our nose to our toes? So we're going to lean forward and see how close we can get them. Hold that stretch, just hold up your feet whilst you're doing it. So we're holding it. Keep holding. And sit up, give those legs a wobble again. Now we're gonna open our butterfly wings. So we're gonna grab hold onto one foot. We're gonna see if we can take our leg out to the side and hold it, keep that other leg in, hold it straight. Try not to bend it too much. So even if it's low or if you're holding up your heel, I don't mind, but try and hold that stretch. Bring it down, try the other side. You'll have one leg better than the other. The other leg was my better one. So you gotta stretch it out. Hold it straight, try not to bend your knee too much, try and stretch, sit up tall, hold it. And bring it down and go, give those legs another wobble for me. That's it, fantastic. So we've got our butterfly, we've got our boat, we've got our tree that was standing up, so I'll show you that one once more in case you forgot. Ooh. So holding that tree. So that's three moves we've learned already. I think we've got time for one more, I think. So we're gonna do our warrior. Now then, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna take one leg forward, toe facing the front. Take the other leg out, toe facing out to the side. So one leg facing the front, one leg facing the side. Warrior number one, we take our arms up and we have a big bend forward on our knee. Okay, so pushing that leg, really nice big lunge. So trying to keep your hips to the front, your chest to the front, arms up, big push and hold it there. Hold that balance, strong arms. Imagine I've pulled you up really tall. Very good. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna open those arms out, turn our bodies. So from here, look, we switch and I open that out. Big lunge into our warrior two, everyone. Brilliant. So this one is a bit like you're surfing as well. So if you imagine you had a surfboard and you're surfing from one side to the other, have a go at that for me. See if you can surf. Brilliant. After three, we're gonna to jump to the other side. Ready, one, two, three, switch. And see if you can surf for me, big stretch. Remember, one foot forward, one foot back. Brilliant. Up to warrior one for me, so big stretch up. Stop that surfing, nice and relaxed. Fab. Okay, and come back, feet together, everybody. So it's just a few moves that we've done as yet today, a bit of a taster of yoga, and as the week goes on, hopefully I can teach you some more moves. But now, we're gonna do some breathing and relaxation. So I want you to sit down, so you're nice and comfortable, legs crossed to start with, and we're gonna just do some breathing. I need your hands on your tummy. You're gonna breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. So we're gonna breathe it in, and out. Try not lift those shoulders up. Try thinking about breathing through your tummy. And out. Now if you've got room, I want you to lie down for me. So you're gonna lie down with your legs out, your arms by your side, your head on the floor. So I want you to all lie down for me and we're gonna be nice and quiet now. So hopefully we're all lying down. It's nice and quiet. Now I just want you to close your eyes, okay? And I just want you to imagine that you're outside on a lovely sunny day. Okay, the sky's blue. You can hear the birds singing. Keep those eyes closed. 
keep imagining that lovely sunny day. And as you're lying there, maybe a butterfly or a bird flies past. Okay? And I want you to think about that butterfly or that bird and think what they look like. What colour are its wings? Do they have patterns on its wings? Okay, it's all nice and quiet, nice and peaceful. Just imagining all the things around you. Can you hear birds singing? Can you hear the wind in the trees? Just have a think, keep lying still, nice and calm and nice and quiet. Well done everybody, you're doing amazing. Keep lying still, thinking about that butterfly or that bird or what you can imagine outside on a lovely sunny day, whether it be at the, if you're in your garden, maybe you would be at the beach. Just think about it and think how peaceful and how calm that would be. Brilliant. Now when you're ready, I want you to wiggle your fingers and I want you to wiggle your toes and I want you to just sit up Okay, so just sitting either on your knees or with your legs crossed, whatever is comfortable for you. Now, I hope you enjoyed your relaxation and what I'd love you to do is maybe you could draw a picture of that butterfly that you were thinking about or that bird. Or maybe you could write me a story about the beach that you went to or what you could see in your garden. Okay, lots of different ideas that we can do. Now, I will be joining you all on Friday to do some more yoga and hopefully we might be able to fit a few more sessions in as the week goes on. But keep practicing at home and I will see you all Friday. Thanks a lot. I hope you all enjoyed that. Have a good day at home. Bye, everybody. Bye.